what's up Kyle gang? All right, so we got this moment problem here. Let's go ahead and do it, right? It's gonna be very simple. So we know that the moment around a point, so we're looking at for the moment around point O. So we're gonna say moment around point O is equal to the position vector to where it's pointing out. So it's, we're looking at point B, right? So the position vector from A to B crossed with the force as a vector. So what we have here, we have force as a vector, we found that already, but we need to find this position vector A to B. So let's go ahead, R A B. Well, where does it go? It starts from the origin, so all you have to do is tip minus tail. So tip minus tail, the tail is at zero, so all you have to do is find it. So it goes, what? It goes eight feet in the x direction, it goes up 1.5 feet, and then it goes, or I mean, it goes positive y, 0.25 feet, and then it goes up in the z direction, 1.5 feet. So it's just gonna look like eight i plus 0.25 j plus 1.5. That's our position vector in feet. So if we want to do this, all we have to do is find a cross product. So let's do the cross product. So M of O. So let's do cross product I, J, K. So we just have to plug in what we found here. 8, 0 0.25, 1.5. And then force, if it gives it to us, 500, negative 200. Negative 200, negative 700. So how do we compute cross product, right? Well, I've taken Calc 3, so I know how to do this stuff, but if you've never done cross product, if you've never taken the determinant of it before, all you have to do is we start with i. So we take i, so when we do i, we're gonna start with i, and then we're gonna go down to these four, right? So we're working with these four right now. So what we do is we take the first one here, 0 0.25, and multiply it by this, so negative 700. Then we're gonna subtract all that, by negative 200 times 1.5. So it goes this here, so you multiply these two together, then you subtract them by these two together. And then that goes with i. So then you're gonna have to subtract j, you not forget this negative sign, it becomes very important. So then we're gonna start all the way over here. Once again, we're gonna take the top left of the space we're working in and then multiply it by this. So it's gonna become eight, negative 700, minus, again, and this negative is distributive, so we have to keep that all in big parentheses, 500 times 1.5, j. And then we're gonna add k, um, I'm trying to do it here. So then k, we're gonna start here, and we're gonna work it right down, we're gonna multiply these together and subtract them by those two. So it's gonna be uh, eight, negative 200, minus, 500, 0 0.25, and that's for k. So now what we do is simplify this down, and we get the moment, uh, I guess this is actually a vector, so we have to not forget that that's a vector. I do not forget your arrows, guys, it's important. Okay, so if you do the math on this, you're gonna get 1.25i, or one, not 1.25, 125 i oops. Um, plus 6,350 J minus 1,770, or 1,725 K. And this is in pound feet, LB feet. So there you go. That's how you do this problem, just about finding the cross product and finding the position vector, but this is really as simple as a problem as you can get. So if the problems get more complex, feel free to come back to me, my channel, I'll have a lot of these kind of problems on. And yeah, if you want to practice, just uh, check it out. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one, guys. Peace.